go if I quickly Google up Lightbox again Lightbox JavaScript we're going to see what we are what we are actually aiming at doing so if I go to the examples you'll see that we have the individual pieces whereby when you click you have the image showing up you have the image showing up right here but if we actually go and click on uh, the image sets we see the image coming up and then we get the Im the other images also showing up once we, we click to, to get the other image. So this is what we are going to be looking at doing. We want to set different galleries showing up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to steal the HTML from here. So I'm just going to inspect this particular element. And what we need is to have this image set right here because it's just looping over the, 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 the tags. So I'm just going to edit as HTML and I'm just going to steal the whole bit of, uh, of, of HTML that we do need. Now next, uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to go into our theme folder and then we're going to add a front page uh, just to show you how we can install that in our front page. So we we'll open up our theme, our theme is uh, 2016, add the folder. Next uh, we're going to create here a new item from, from our hierarchy. So we're going to do front-page.php. So if we open PHP here and get the default header from uh, WordPress templates, and also get the footer and then I'll just go in here and close PHP, open PHP again and dump our our HTML right in the middle. Just type this up a bit and save. If we go back to our front end on our WordPress and reload we're going to get a whole new page right here and it has this HTML in, in here. So what we're going to do next is actually make that information dynamic by changing everything that is in here. So I'm just going to take away some of these and leave only one item which we shall be looping over. So I'll take that away and then just use this to I'll just use this as a loop over for our, for our information. Now we are ready to start querying our custom post type. So what we're going to do is, uh, I'm, again, I'm going to just Google and say query custom post type right in here. And then I'll look up for a quick answer. Uh, I'll just go for one of those links, Pippin, Pippin's plugin is always a good resource to, to jump into. He has stuff that is always ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this query that we do need here. And then I'll just go and drop this in our PHP. So what we're doing here is getting a new query. Uh, WP query, get the post type. The post type that we do need is called gallery and we don't need to be paged. I'll just get the posts per page and get them to be minus one, meaning we are getting everything. We just add that properly in its brackets and uh, we can actually randomize it if we need to. Um, the next we're going to go for if the query has posts then we're going to just loop over uh, those particular posts and then when the while is done we'll end the end while and then reset the, the the post data and then next we shall do that we shall end the if we shall end the if uh, of, of the whole query so now we are ready to do this so what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to bring this and just 
add it to our loop. So in here is where we need to add our HTML. And I'm just going to change this to, to gallery so that we can be able to add some CSS to it. So we have the gallery grid right there. So if we save and for now I'm just going to comment this out and just echo in PHP and just echo the titles of what's coming back. Echo, get the title. We're going to see what data is actually going to come back. So we come back to our front page and reload. Yeah, we're getting our food items and gallery none food items. Right, for now we're going to look into each of those posts to get the attachments. And I'm going to open up my PHP and then I'll, I'll just get a, <coughs> a variable where I'm going to store my arrays that are coming back. So attachments is going to equal to get posts which needs parameters that should be in an array. So we're going to pass in an array of parameters and first parameter is we're going to get the post type of attachment. Uh, remember when we saw the different post, post types that uh, WordPress provides, so there's attachment and we're looking for just those media attachments. So we need all the items to come. So we'll say post per page should give us negative one for all. And then finally, we are going to just query the post parent. We need to get these items coming in from a parent and that parent is going to be by passing the ID of our current page. So I'll just pass in that post parent. So when I reload right here, we're getting our array of items and yes, we have eight items coming in our array. So next uh, we're going to say is if we have the attachment, so if attachments is true, then what we're going to do is we're going to say for each, for each attachment as attachment, uh, we're going to just loop over each one of those and say what we need to do actually get is <coughs> we need to get uh, the URL and there's a, a functionality for that in WordPress and that's uh, called the WP get attachment URL. And it just needs uh, you to pass in the ID of uh, that particular post type. So what we're going to do is uh, get this and say get the attachment and from its array that's returned, get the ID. And what we're going to do is actually just store this in a variable so that once we, we get this, we are able to just pass it into our HTML. So for now, I'm just going to cut this, close PHP, open PHP, and just press this inside. So once we do that, then we are able to just change everything here and open PHP. and then just echo img right here. So I just echo that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to also get the same code right here and drop it in for our image. Once we have this I, uh, this URL stored as an, IM, as an image, we can be able to just send this information and make all of this dynamic. For the rest of the information that's not dynamic, we shall be able to to get the information that's needed by just looking at <coughs> what is returned as the loop. So we know that there are things like uh, post captions that can be got and we can be able to, to add those onto uh, the particular segments that we do have. So for now, I'm just going to stop this uh, var dump, comment it out and then I'm just going to move uh, this particular div where it should be. That is right before the footer. Then I'll open this PHP tag 
and close off this one. So that it's right. Then the next thing we're going to do is we shall need to have this image set right after this loop where we're looking inside the post and we'll just have add it there and then we shall add also this other one the closing tag right before the end while so actually in the right place so come and just push this in here and save so let's just go to our page and reload we're going to see that we have the different items coming however you notice that now all of these are mixed both the non-food items and the food items are mixed up and I can sense the issue of that coming from uh, our media library if you look at it you realize that all of these are attached to gallery food so there's a little plugin that I wrote that we can actually use to help us sort this issue really quickly so what we're going to do is just going to go to our plugins and then we shall look up touch media and then we'll be able to see that plugin and then we'll import it install it then you can use it so if I install this plugin it's the one that I wrote um, it's recently updated and it allows us to attach and unattach and reattach images to <clears throat> to other posts um, in our particular uh, in our particular install so I'm just going to activate this and after it's activated I'll just go back to the media <clears throat> so I'll go back to the media and then I'll choose the items that are food items so I'll just tick those that are food items they are four in number and what I'm going to do is I'm going to reattach them using the bulk actions and I'll send them to the food section and then voila so we have food items gallery non food items and yeah we are ready so if I reload here we're going to see a little bit of order coming back so we have the food items showing up alone and then we have the non food items also showing up in their own section so what's going to help us see this better is when we start adding style to our page that's when we'll see the changes so for now I'm just going to go back right here and get this title and just store it into a title item into a title variable uh, so that I can use it in our particular area let's say here where we're having the data title <coughs> we'll just open PHP and echo title and I'll just do the same for our old tag for now to be able to allow for accessibility to come through and so we just need we'll add the CSS to to, to get this right and it's going to look better <coughs> once we are done yeah, so if I save this we are now ready to go and start adding CSS to our particular page <coughs>